Hey guys, happy holidays. Welcome back to the kitchen. Now, I hope you've had a gorgeous Christmas and we're getting ready for the New Year's in our house. So I wanted to introduce you to one of my favorite Christmas cocktails, Christmas welcome drinks. This is my Campari pomegranate Christmas spritz. And it's the kind of drink that you serve up as a nice welcome drink for any festive parties you might be having around this time of the year. Now, the beauty of this cocktail is that you can make a big pitcher of this and pour it out as you need it. But I'm gonna make some individual ones just to give you a sense of how easy it is to make. Now, to kick this off, we're gonna make a spiced simple syrup. Now, if you haven't come across simple syrup before, it's basically what's used in a lot of cocktails and mocktails. It's equal parts water to sugar. And the version I'm gonna make today has spice running through it. So we're gonna infuse this simple syrup with a collection of cinnamon, star anise, and cloves. So the sugar in the water goes into the pot. And if you were making a regular simple syrup, keep it as simple as this. And literally it's sugar and water, equal parts. Pop it on the hob and you're gonna simmer that down until the sugar is dissolved and you have a nice viscous syrup. Once it's cooled, stick it in a jar and it's gonna keep in the fridge for quite a while and is perfect to be added to many different cocktails. But this version, like I mentioned, has spices running through it. So I have a combination of lovely festive spices here. We've got a little bit of a cinnamon stick that we're gonna pop in here. I've got star anise. I'm only gonna use one of these because it's quite strong. And then I've got three cloves going in. And for me, I always think of wintertime cloves and oranges. They're always something that were added to hot whiskey and it's just one of those kind of instant childhood memories. Not that I was drinking them myself, but I'm sure I might have tasted one. Um, that was parenting in the 90s. It was slightly different to it. That's <laughs> the way it is now. I've got two peelings of orange here. In fact, you could go even, let's go three, let's go three, let's go wild. Uh, so onto the hob, let's simmer this down and dissolve all that sugar. So this has now come up to a gorgeous steady bubble and you can see that all that festive flavor is just gonna be infused into that sugary sweet mixture. The orange peel, star anise and the cinnamon. So all I'm gonna do now is take it off the heat and pop it into a jar. So very carefully at this point because this is really, really hot. Now, if you want more spice, you can leave it to infuse sitting in the jar. Alternatively, at this point, if it's had enough flavor, you can take it out and if you don't like really strongly spiced sweetness, uh, take it out at this point now, strain it. Now that we have this spice simple syrup ready to rock, I would advise absolutely cool it down before you even attempt to make this cocktail. And thankfully, I have been very, very organized. So I actually have, here it is, I actually have some simple syrup that has infused and has completely cooled. The smell is so gorgeous. So we have our simple syrup. Let's talk about the garnishes for this cocktail. Really simple one and a great one to have up your sleeve around this time of year for cocktails and all sorts of things is some orange peel. Now what you're looking for is a nice solid peel that I'm gonna use to make a really nice twist that garnishes the glasses here. So really nice solid peel is what you're after. I'm just gonna do about three here. Now look, I will be honest with you, I am so not a mixologist, but I do love a good cocktail. And if I'm making it at home, I wanna go the extra mile. So we're gonna attempt a little bit of mixologist uh, magic here. So I'm just gonna take a sharp knife and trim the edges of this orange peel. So just take off them so you have a nice clean edge to it. And I'm gonna do that exactly on the end and on this end. And then just using your fingertips, we're gonna try and curl this. And essentially this should hold itself. So as you hold it in place, it's starting to dry out. And as it dries out, you should have that twist being held in your orange peel. I don't know if I'm using any of the correct terminology here, but all I know is that when I pop this in this drink, I always feel better. So that's why we're doing it. So once you've done that little twist, it should kind of hold its shape and you can kind of readjust it every now and then. And then all we're gonna do is exactly the same with the other peel. So just trim it and twist it. Again, this is something that you can pretty much prepare in advance. And the beauty is that all these little additions will just make your drink look even more fancy around Christmas. So again, it's just using your fingers to twist it and hold it in shape for just a minute or two until hopefully it catches that curl and it sticks. Even as you twist this, it smells so wonderful. I love orange flavored drinks. 
And with Campari, it is my absolute drink of choice. Negroni is one of my favorite cocktails, but it has to have that element of orange in there. Otherwise, it's not a complete drink. Okay, so look at that. A beautiful little orange twist that is going to be gorgeous in these drinks. And look, if they kind of unfurl a little bit, just twist them again and just bring them back into shape. It's only for a little bit of pizzazz when it comes to your drink. So pop down your little orange curls ready to rock. They are pretty much good to go at this point. We've got our simple syrup. Let's talk about these cocktail ingredients. So I've got some Campari, my absolute favorite liqueur to have. Some pomegranate juice. We have the cool simple syrup and then because this is a bit of a spritz we have a nice bit of Prosecco. You could do this with champagne if you want to but a nice Prosecco cold with your ice is going to be so good. So to bring this cocktail together, cocktail shaker. We're going to fill this with plenty of ice. You want to fill it about halfway up your cocktail shaker. I'm also going to ice up two glasses here. Uh, because this is going to be poured over ice as well as being nice and cold in the shaker. And like I said, you could do this in a pitcher if you wanted to. So to the shaker, I'm going to go in there with some pomegranate juice. A very generous glug of Campari. It's sweet, it's bitter, and it's really floral and aromatic. So it's a lovely one to add around Christmas time. And then of course we have that spice syrup. So I'm just going to eyeball it. It's about a tablespoon or two. And you can adjust, it's really important with cocktails, just as it is with cooking, to taste as you go. So pop that syrup in there, and then get on with your lid. And the trick here is to shake until the, until the cocktail shaker has kind of gone frosty, so a minute or so. Okay, my hand is suitably frozen at this point. So, right, let's serve out these cocktails. So we have our glass filled with ice, and I never really do this smoothly, so you'll just have to bear with me. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Normally, like, the liquid floods out, and I always look a bit silly. But anyway, we're going to go in here with our strain mixture, and look at the color. That's what I love about this. You want to go about halfway up the glass here, because we're going to top this again with a little bit of Prosecco. But look at that. It makes two drinks here to finish this off. That little touch of Prosecco, the bubbles you need around Christmas time. And lastly, don't forget your little orange curls that just gets popped in there and it's a lovely little finish around Christmas time. I have to say, I would recommend you give this a little stir. And now it is time to try. Ah. It's just the perfect Christmas spritz. It's got spice, it's got flavor, it's got bitters, it's got sweetness. It's got so much going on. And then that little twist of orange, it's just one of those things that it just adds a little bit of a flair to a drink like this. I hope you will try this recipe. It is super simple. If you want the full details, I'll leave it in the box below and you can check it out over on my website. As always, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell and leave me a comment letting me know if you're gonna try this festive little spritz to get you going over the festive period. Until then, I wish you a happy Christmas a happy new year, happy holidays, whatever way you're celebrating. Cheers, Slancha, and I'll see you soon.